Welcome back everyone. In this final video, we're going to actually um, finally implement some um, some event delegation. So let's see how it looks. So like I said, rather than all everything we did here, the approach we want to do is that we actually want to call an event on the outer div. So that's the key part of event delegation. Um, you're delegating it. So we're putting the event on a parent element and then we will delegate the actual things we want to happen to the inner children so we start with adding the event listener on the outer um, on the outer element and just to show you that it works this is the containers event listener we're going to save this and we're going to get rid of this for loop because we don't need that. Um, and we're going to get rid of this line one buttons. We don't need that anymore either. So we refresh the page uh, and I'm going to hover over it. Notice that the div kind of spans all the way across and that's fine. Um, so when I click here, I actually fire that event listener. If I click any of the buttons, I'm also firing the event listener. That's a concept known as bubbling. So essentially events bubble from their children up to the parent. So even though I'm clicking the button, the event bubbles up to the outer div. So great. We know that it's working when we click the buttons. So now we only want something to happen if we click a button, okay? And the way that we can go about doing that is as follows. We can use a special, um, a special method so e.target, well, I mean, I'm actually, let's console log e.target just so that everyone's clear what we're doing here. Um, e.target is the thing you're clicking on. So if I click here, that's the div. If I click this, it's the actual button. And DOM elements, which e.target is a DOM element, all have special method, a special method called matches. And so there's a little bit of documentation there for you. It will return true if matching selectors um, yields the element, otherwise false. And that's just fancy for saying if whatever I'm clicking on is a button, this should be true. So we go back here. If I click here, remember, this is a div, so it's false. But if I click a button, I get true. And so that's what we actually want. We only want something to happen if we click the button. So if e.target matches a button, now we know that we're clicking the thing we want, we can grab the number from e.target.dataset.num and console log it. And so now, nothing's happening when I click the divs because it's never matching that if statement. Um, it'll only match that if statement if we click a button. And you can see here that it's logging all of them. And even six. And six didn't exist on the page until it's added down here. But because the event listener is on the parent, it doesn't matter if we create a bunch of dynamic buttons. This will continue to work as expected. So that's all we got. Um, so hopefully this idea of event delegation uh, makes sense to you. It's not too crazy, but it is just a little more complicated than, uh, than standard adding event listeners to just a single element or whatnot. So um, thank you so much, and I'll see you later.